In this video, I wanted to show you how I made over a very cute thrifted birdhouse shelf decor piece. This was cute as is, but we can do a lot better and make it a little bit more decorative with um, different colors and techniques. So first I'm showing the paint colors that I will be using. And prior to a recording, I went ahead and sanded this piece down. Now this first color that I will be using is called Queen Bee and it's by DIY. I'm going to paint the interior of this cabinet, the background as well as the sides. And this is a really pretty sort of a golden yellow color. Next, I'm taking this pretty green color called Salty Kiss, also by DIY. And I will be using that on the exterior of this cabinet. I'm also going to paint over the frame of the cabinet. as well as all the sides. The only thing I'm not using the green on is the front part of that frame, um, which is the door frame. Um, I'm gonna be painting that in that same queen bee color as I did for the interior. As you can see, I'm going with a two-toned effect, that yellow and that green. So I wanted to make sure that I sort of um, alternated colors. Next, I'm doing a distress technique using some petroleum jelly. You can use any brand that you have on hand. And what this will essentially do is repel the paint from sticking to your surface so it's easily distressed. I'm just using that same yellow color over the Vaseline covered um, door frame. And you'll see later that when I sand it back, or actually I just wet distressed it using a wipe, that the paint just comes right off. I'm using that same technique to the sides of this cabinet and just covering that with this green paint. So as you can tell by those little spotted areas, that is the areas that I covered in the Vaseline. So when I wiped off the paint in those areas using that baby wipe, it came right off because the Vaseline acts as a repellent so that your paint doesn't adhere to your surface. And this makes it a lot more easier when you're trying to wet distress. Um, you don't have to put a whole lot of elbow grease to it. Um, you simply just wipe off that paint in those areas that you added the Vaseline to and it comes right off. Super simple. And again, I did that with the sides over that green color. Now for the rooftops, I'm using some wood tint by Folk Art. I went back and forth um, deciding on whether I was going to paint the top, you know, the roof. Um, it's eventually I went with uh, the stain. Taking some of that same stain or wood tint, I'm just using a wet wipe and wiping that over the entire surface because as you can tell, that green is a little too bright and new and it doesn't quite um, go with the whole aesthetic. The aesthetic I'm going for here is more of a rustic distressed look. And as I did with the front part of that door, um, looking like it's been distressed and roughed up, I wanted to make everything cohesive and I had to do the same with the entire piece. Next, I took that wood tint in that same color and just stained the inside shelves. And then I took that green paint and just painted the edges of the shelves just to tie it in with the other green areas. So in order to add more embellishment, I used this IOD mold this is a birdsong mold. 
using some air dry clay. You can use any brand that you have. This is the Dawes air dry clay. You'll want to make sure that you coat your mold with some cornstarch and this prevents your clay from sticking to your mold and it makes it easier for it to lift. Once you press your air dry clay into your mold, you just remove it and voila, you have a very cute mold that you can use to embellish your piece. And I really love birds and this was the perfect time to use this bird mold since I have not had the opportunity to do so. I'm just cleaning off the edges here. And I allowed that to dry just a bit before I painted it. But um, while it was still wet, I did go ahead and glue that on to the house. Just right there, I'm just trying to decide on the placement and which direction I wanted those birds to face. I used some tight bond quick and thick glue to adhere those birds to the house. And I also painted it in the color oyster once it was dry and then distressed it using some Waverly antique wax. And I really love how this came out. Super cute and adorable would be perfect for a garden decor or for the interior of your house using it for maybe displaying some collectibles. But here I'm showing how I used it in a garden setting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so fun to make. You just have to use a little creativity and imagination and you can transform anything. I would love it so much if you would give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for being here.